In this video tutorial, I will discuss the account customization features as well as creating individual manufacturer scorecards. Now that you have created an account or signed in using your existing credentials, you will now have access to the scorecard dashboard. This page will act as the main hub for the site. From here, you will have access to your personal account information, which can be updated at any time using the Manage Account link. Additionally, as an organization administrator, you will have access to the Manage Organization tool. Essentially, this page has two main functions. The first is to create customized groups specific to your company. For example, an organization that operates in multiple regions may want to create customized groupings for each area. The Users page will allow you to assign individuals to each customized group. To do this, simply click Invite Users, then fill out the email address for the user you would like added. The Group dropdown will display your customized groupings. Once you have made your selection, click Create, and an email will be issued to the specified address with a link that will direct them to the group account. Additionally, you may check the status of your pending invitations below as well as delete any outstanding invites. To access the scorecard form from the dashboard page, simply click either Score at the top right hand side of the screen or the icon that reads Score Your Manufacturers. Users are given the option to complete scorecards online or through an Excel version which can be downloaded by clicking the Offline Scorecards button. The offline Excel versions of the scorecard can be submitted through this page as well using the Upload tool. To access the online version of the form, from the score page, simply click Start a new scorecard. This will bring you to a form that allows you to select from a list of manufacturers as well as select specified date ranges among other information for which the scorecard applies. Please note that the copy of responses option allows you to import your previously submitted scorecard which can be updated to reflect the current period. Once your selections have been made, Click Start Scorecard. You can navigate through the sections using either the section icons or the next previous buttons. Once complete, click the green Submit Scorecard button at the bottom of the page. Additionally, you may save and exit your scorecard at any time using the Save and Return function. Your pending scorecards will be displayed on the dashboard page. Simply click Edit to return to the pending card. Additionally, from the review page, you will have the option of accessing a printer-friendly version of your manufacturer scorecards as well as edit or delete any existing forms. In the next tutorial video, I will walk you through creating your customized scorecard report.